Welcome back to another episode of Skillet Talk. What's happening? Now I got a special guest in here with me today. Tell them where you at. What's your name? And where you from, bro? What's up? Glockavali. I'm from Atlanta. I uh, really was originally born in New York. I'm over here in Atlanta with my boy Skillet Talk on the podcast. We having fun today. Okay. Yeah. So you from Atlanta? No, I'm from New York, Queens. Okay. Long Island, New York was born. I came down here in 2019. Okay. So okay. I started, you know, messing around with the city, seeing how it go. Oh, so you been down here about for about about four years. Yeah, yeah. You fuck with it? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't turn up. Yeah. I mean, the, the pace down here is uh, way slower than the pace that's up there in New York because you got public transportation. You know, you got mm -hmm. millions and millions of people. Out here, you got so much space, you can move at your own pace. Yeah. So it kind of puts you at an advantage coming from a place that's moving faster with people that's moving kind of slow. Yeah. So yeah. go up. So you saying is is it is better here? Yeah. Because it's slower? Yeah, I ain't never been in New York. I, you know, I, yeah, I do want to go there. Though. You got to. So what what you be working on since you moved down here? Um, music. Music. Um, other than, you know, the hustles, doing the the other yeah. stuff on the side. The she's naive, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I be on the same too. So what you what kind of music you be dropping? Everything. Um, let's see. So I'm Jamaican. Uh, I grew up listening to a lot of Vice Cartel, a lot of uh, Beanie Man, even Busta Rhymes living in New York. And then you just add the New York, like 50 Cent, P. Diddy, them type of people. And then you just mix it with Atlanta, the 2009s. Yeah. Uh, like T.I., even go back to the old Gucci, for sure. Then you got Bankroll Fresh. Okay. And you got to also, like, get Amigos credit. Like, that, oh, that the 2014 people, like, you got to get them their credit. Yeah. And that's basically what, yeah. putting that together, that's what makes me. Hey, see, you say 2014, I go back f farther than that. I go back, like, I want to say, like, 2005. Uh who? Jeezy and, and, and Gucci? No, but shit, before them, like, even with the dance move. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I like that, that. That's where the shit come from. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? All that dancing and shit. Mm -hmm. I always tell me, is it, it, <laughs> shit always come from... It either come from Atlanta or California. You feel me? All sounds, that's what you think? Bro, it's styles. Yeah. You know, the sound, music, mm -hmm. anything. If you keep if you can keep up with Atlanta, if you want to, wanna be hip, yeah. Keep up with Atlanta and keep up with California. You know what I'm saying? That's how you gonna know what the swag transition yeah. to. Like you gotta add New York in there too, because it, it goes Yeah, yeah. It's New York. I mean, it's it's Cali first. Then you gotta put New York second. Uh, then you gotta put Atlanta third. Yeah. And then the fourth one would be like Texas. Yeah. But that's like far out of there. So just New York, um, Atlanta, and Cali. Those are the people. Those are the fashion meccas that I think. Yeah. And with the money, you right? Cause New York is is the control of the money. So yeah, you wanna look? I'm gonna add that to my list then. So with the money, you are gonna look at New York. Yeah. Music. I'm gonna get music and swag on with, with Atlanta and California. Yeah, Texas is kind of like on some living type shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I mean, that's just how I look at that. Yeah. But you, who you, who you want to work with, with with the music? With the music, I ain't gonna lie. R.I.P. Dolph. I wanted, I wanted to be part of P.R.E. Yeah, man. For sure. Yeah. But now it's like. With the way how music is going in Atlanta, you know, we had the big, the the big, what, four, big five. You had, you know, Lil Baby, yeah. 21 Savage, the Migos, yeah. you had Young Thug, and then uh, Gucci Man. That, I'm talking about only, like, recently type type stuff. Yeah, yeah. Now that, you know, everybody done kind of separated a little bit, it's wide open. So yeah. it's not really anybody in particular yeah. that I want to go with, yeah. unless it was Young Dolph, but R.I.P. Yeah. to him. Yeah. Yeah, and I think a lot of people, a lot of people want to work with Dolph. Yeah. You know, Dolph was hell, man. And he had the brains. Yeah. He had the brains to, to stick to stick to it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. But shit, so what 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 are you what are you planning on dropping? Uh like if you can give us a spiel on like what your music be about. Okay, so um when I first started it was just for fun. <clears throat> I think I started what, two thousand 2000, 
2019, 2018. Okay. Uh, I took a break. You know, I was making my money, stacking it up, putting it up, stacking it up, putting it up. Uh, you got to go through life in order to create your music. So the music that I'm about to drop, I have a project. It's going to be like five songs, two music videos mm. um, that I'm about to drop in October. And you say two minute videos? No, no, it's going to be two music videos. Oh, okay. okay. Off of there. It's going to be my first. So like, I'm going to pop back out and I'm going to be working with uh, some folks. You guys just got to pay attention. Uh, yeah. Definitely got to get the visuals right. So some of the people that you know from Atlanta, that's up. Yeah. I'm going to make sure that I'm tapping in with that. Yeah, that was, I appreciate you having on Skillet Talk, man. Yeah. Fucking with Super DJ the Kid, man. We on here chilling, man. Well, I wanna get I wanna get kinda into your life. Like what made you start doing music? What um, inspired you to wanna do music? Well, when I was younger, um I actually lived in Jamaica for a little bit. So um, But you are you Jamaican? Yeah, I'm Jamaican. Yeah, okay. I was Jamaican. So yeah. when I was younger, listening to Jamaican music, because you know they love music. Mm -hmm. I used to sit there and just babble and freestyle off of the Jamaican beats. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, who was it? I think it was, um, who was it, who was it? It was around Migos and Young Thug, the rich gang time, when yeah. I was like, then I went to start rapping like. Was it because of the beef or what? It was because of the, um, how they make you feel, man. Like, you know, people have, a lot of people have music. But some people have music where you can't stay still yeah. through that music. And then it, it, it messes with your mood. It messes with your vibe. You yeah. can't stay still. Yeah, yeah. That's the type of music that I try to go to. It's the one that like clicks in it. The keys, they touch your brain. Different. So do you so so do you like do you like rock music? Yeah. Like everything. A, like a rap rock type shit? Everything. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Definitely. And especially with the the new wave. I like I love the gothic. I love Gothic yeah, Girls. Yeah, okay, yeah, on that I love that. Note. Yeah, I love, the, I love the Gothic Girls, so, you know, you got to do something for them to turn them up, too. Yeah. That's what I'm working on. So you say you like Gothic Girls? Yeah. yeah. Like, the, like the whole, I don't want to say necessarily, like, rock, right? But I want to say, like, imagine putting that with the rap and the trap yeah. together. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So you, you basically going to try to form your own sound. Yeah. Yeah, that's dope. Yeah, that's what they like. I don't hear a lot of people saying that. I mean, I, I mean, in my life, I done did some things, but I'm not going to go on a song and go tell them everything I done did in my life. Yeah. You know? That's not the smartest thing to do. It's ingenious, yeah. So we just going to get lit. What you drinking on? The Tito's. We ain't getting paid for that. You ain't got to show that. Yeah, one. I ain't showing it. No, we, it's only sponsorships over here. If you want to get, get on the show, let me know. Sponsor, get it. Back to the regular program. Yeah, facts. Hey. But, so you started rapping in, what, when you moved here, or was it before you? It was moved? before. So I had a, I ain't gonna lie, if you hear my earlier stuff, it's gonna sound more of like the, New York is kind of slower than Atlanta, you know? I'm, I'm only talking about music-wise. Yeah, you gotta like, straighten it up. You yeah, gotta, so. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta go in depth with that, because if you don't, you gonna start some shit. I don't wanna start nothing, so. <laughs> you said Atlanta is, is faster than? No, Atlanta music, yeah, Atlanta beats like, you know, that's faster okay, than yeah, okay, New York, because yeah. they're more lyrical up north, so that means that you gotta have more space between each, like, you know, eight away or each beat, like each change of it, so, but in Atlanta, you know, you just go on the beat, start talking, just talking your shit, and you want the beat to be faster so that, you know, you feel it, Yeah, that's how it is. Yeah, that's yeah really I, can, I, can, I can understand that. Cause Atlanta, you know, you really don't even hear what they saying. It's just the beat that get your head rocking. You hear me? And then you might hear a couple, a couple lines. Yeah. And those couple lines stick in your head, and now you hooked onto that yeah, song. Yeah. On that one song. Cause you could, cause think about it, right? If you have a verse, maybe a verse go hard. Like person put they all into the verse, and the verse was the hardest thing ever. Versus two or three lines that sound that that like rhyme with each other yeah those people are going to listen to the two or three lines that 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 rhyme with each other versus the whole the whole verse yeah because they can't sing a whole verse in their head they can sing the two or three lines because they only understand what they saying exactly yeah so but if you yeah you make sense because even with new york shit, you can really quote some of that shit. you can quote some of atlanta shit, but you really got to be a fan to really dive in you got to know that you got to know how they speak you got to do the research to know what what the fuck they saying? I, like, let me get this question in. Like, who is your favorite artist 
if you can say it of all time, of your all time. Mm. If I can, if I ask that, you know, for all time, meaning like for your all time, like who who do you think that was just just fire? If you want me to be honest, in American music, even when you was a kid to now and they, that person is still your all time favorite. It's not American. It's reggae. It's Bob Chartel. Always. So you do reggae music too? Nah, I can, but I don't. I just haven't jumped into that that uh, mm-hmm. sound yet. But if I should tell, but if we're gonna talk about when it comes to rap, ever since I like, I mean, I always love music, but ever since like the Migos, but I would say Offset really. Yeah. It's really Offset because just from how he started, he was kind of hard, but now everything that he drops to me, Offset. Hard. Yeah. Offset. Yeah. True. I can I can understand that. I was actually looking at that the other day between him and um, Quavo. Quavo. I understand his transition. I understand why he wanted to break away from them because he wanted to build a different. If you look at, if you look at Offset's album, he just well he's about to drop. Yeah. And if you look at the the album that Quavo dropped. Two totally different things. It's but Quavo, I think the album he just dropped, even though I'm more of an offset fan, that album that he just dropped is gonna keep him back in the game for the next five to ten years. I I, I, I can debate that. I think I think that song with future. Which one was it? Um folk, uh, not not focus. Uh, uh, uh it's the um, when, when future was gonna be on that motherfucker and he say shit. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That yeah. nigga went hard on Tell that bitch, up. bro. <laughs> and when he went hard on it like that, yeah. I look at Quavo like big unk music. Quavo, Quavo look like big unk, like to y'all age, like yeah. man, that nigga still rapping. That's like in my era if I don't even want to throw no names out of my head. <laughs> that nigga get mad, but if you know, like if somebody like I ain't gonna hold you like BGJ got out. Yeah. BG, I don't wanna hear BG so. I'm looking at BG like, man, go sit down, bro. Go get you some pussy. Yeah. Get get that don't few dollars from Birdman and sit yeah. down. That's how I'm looking at it. So you don't and so you don't even want to hear not even one like one no, little project from him. Not even. No, because my mind is already okay. hooked on the music now. Yeah. Like if I'm if it depends on what vibe I'm in. Mm-hmm. If I'm finna if I'm finna drink with some pussy. Yeah. <laughs> I might put on some Afro beats. Afro beats. I mean I ain't gonna oh, lie. Girls love that. Girls love Why well, I just said I'm chilling with some pussy. Yeah. yeah. I'm chilling with some pussy. You hear me? Yeah. So <laughs> if I put that motherfucker on, they chilling, they vibing. But if I'm chilling with the guys, I'm finna put it on, little baby type shit. You know, shit like that. Yeah. That's what I'm gonna listen to. But I don't wanna hear BG rapping like that. But I look at BG like I look at Quavo. They know they've been doing it so long. It's kind of like that's all they know, and you think people gonna follow. Offset is not like that. Yeah. Also, Offset just did that shit with um. Kaisenet. Yes, bro. And I'm like, dude, that was fucking genius. Yeah. He got so many fans now. That's how you stay in the loop. Yeah. He got fan, and the music he's dropping, he dressing up like, like Michael Jackson. He did. I don't even know. Do you even know about the skit he did? What's about one? being um being James Brown? Oh yeah, off of uh, jealousy, bro. Right? Yeah, that's genius, bro. What they don't realize, music, all that shit is entertaining. Entertaining is about acting, bro, and entertaining. Yeah, he's entertaining us with that. So when we look at that shit, we like, man, that shit hard as fuck. You see what that I'm saying? True. But also too, it's like the older folks. Like his OGs, yeah, they listen to James Brown, right? Yeah, or, or all them people. Yeah, and then the younger folks, they watch Kai Snit. Everybody, the all the young kids on on um, streaming. So that means you already have us. That's like you know. I'm and 45. he the game. He the game. All them fans. All the new bro. fans for the new drop, and then especially having his uh, even with the beat that just happened. Um, with, even with the girl he with, man. Come on, bro. Yeah. Everything he did was smart. Yeah. Quavo ain't doing shit, man. It, it ain't no, it ain't no, you know, ain't ain't shit to Quavo. But I'm looking at it like, 
Bro, Quay, you ain't doing that, bro. You gotta, you you gotta, you gotta do something to keep these four going. And how Ti got dropped? Like, oh yeah, I remember that. Guy. Like, I don't, you know, I don't, get, I don't care what they say, bro. But Ti moved where he fucked up at was he let the world into his family life in a different way. <laughs> That's you can't, especially with Walker. You gotta put Walker in there too, man. You gotta throw Walker. You gotta throw throw Stevie. Stevie J was once like that guy who a lot of people looked up to. I look at him now. And, and what's crazy, they don't even they don't even look at him in the, as that guy anymore. They laugh at him. <laughs> they don't people didn't even know he was in music like that. Exactly. They didn't know he was in music like that. What about Lil Scrappy too? We used to Man, blast Scrub, Lil Scrappy back bro, in the day. Scrub, he, I, hey, I, I'm a meat scrub. I don't know why I want to meet Scrub. Yeah. So I'm gonna hold my tongue on that. He might want to check the interviews out and go be, oh fuck nigga, you nah, I ain't talking about you, but <laughs> yeah, but bro. I'm gonna tell my age on this shit, but that was back in high school, middle school for me. Yeah. When when Scrap was out, bro, get some crunk in your system. I'm talking about crazy, bro. Yeah. We somebody finna get their ass whooped or something. That's how that. That's how all music was. That's how that shit used to make us feel back in the day. I mean, yeah. when I was when I was younger, I know I used to put on like even still now they still blast Waka Flocka. Yo, no matter same, what. Yo. Same song, still blasting. Yep. I don't know about Ti now. Yeah, ain't nobody. No, ain't nobody. No, I don't want any dog, big dog out like that. But ain't no, ain't nobody bumming. Ain't nobody bumming to y'all like that, bro. <laughs> well, man, let's get out talking about these folk, man. They gonna be at your goddamn because I ain't my your face on. I mean, it's cool. It's it ain't cool. my face. It's cool. I mean, I fuck. I mean, I fuck let me, with let me everybody. goddamn everybody. put my face down. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Bro. I don't got no smoke with nobody, man. Everybody do what they do. So when it comes to collabs, who do you want to collab with? Who like, I far as like. Like, you know, not not so famous and famous. Well, um, I ain't gonna lie, I wanna um I wanna mess with let's see. I definitely wanna feature from someone like YTB, like the new flow that's about to come out now. Man. This new flow that they really Memphis. Understand. I need all them Memphis if you, we gotta put Memphis on the map when it comes they to They already um, doing it. It's just they don't pay them they don't they don't shine a light on the city like Exactly. Like niggas will come here in Atlanta and live three years and blow up and they start, that ain't Atlanta. Nigga, yeah. that nigga from wherever he was from. Memphis, what they doing, they don't give a fuck. I'm Memphis, nigga. If yeah. it's sort North Memphis, South Memphis, or whatever. So you're absolutely right, bro. All the Memphis artists, definitely for sure. And then another one that's gonna sound crazy, but Psy Baby. Psy Baby. The um Side, baby. What is it? Uh, what is it? You got the stress. Let me see. Hello. Look at my phone real quick. But who, like, okay, and so. So, I bet he more of like the, he part of the, like, you know, the weird people, the anime type of people. I, bro, I think I know who you talking about. I just don't. Let's see. Um, anime World. You ever heard of Anime yeah, World? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah. that guy. Yeah. Yeah. And he's still young too. Still, he's still like my age, what twenty. But anime, anime itself is taking over, bro. Yeah, he, you know, it was a girl that was on TikTok. They were talking about her, but she got everybody doing that shit. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? What, which one is it? Which one? Uh, I, was, I don't even know her name. She's a light skinned girl. She was doing. Um, oh, NPC, NPC, NPC. NPC stuff. Yeah, it's the same shit though. Yeah, it is. It's like it's like acting like a computer. Yeah. Type shit, and that shit taking over, bro. I'm yeah. telling you. AI, AI, AI is taking over. I was over, just so. about to say that shit. Bro. You know, and hey. people really stream that and watch it, and then she gets paid hundreds of thousands of dollars um, just to sit there and do the same thing yep. over and over and again. Don't, don't do nothing. Do the same thing every day. Then, <laughs> do you see yourself doing that shit? No, I don't. I don't even like social media like that. Yeah, I try to be on social. I don't even like showing my face. Like this is a rare occasion, but doing music and even with the other stuff I want to do, like. Big boy stuff, business. I'm trying to be in a hundred millionaires. I ain't trying to be just a millionaire. That's too small for me. Yeah, yeah. So I got to show my face. I'm very active um, with all my people who want to get money. I don't like wasting time. Like if I see that she wasting time, I can read your energy. I ain't trying to be yeah. nowhere near you or in the same vicinity as you. So what is going? So what is going to be like your your strategy if you mind? Telling a little bit of it for on what? promoting your 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 your, your EP that that you about to drop. Oh well, I have uh, crazy part about it is I have a lot of connects. 
Like I didn't met a lot of people by doing things that you guys would never think that I could do. Mm. And um, I just been holding on to them until I feel comfortable 100% ready uh, when God tells me, go ahead and uh, take advantage of all your connects. Yeah. Now, he's been talking to me the past couple months. Well, actually, I've been working on this project since like January. Mm. I just um, haven't dropped nothing off of it. And yeah, you're gonna see a lot of people, definitely with the music videos. I, I'm gonna bring a new flow with the music videos. I love, um, one thing that I'm very like, a strong belief is that I believe we're not the only ones in the universe. Mm -hmm. So I wanna be able to put that, when I say only ones, I'm talking about like, all the fables that people believe is fake. You believe like werewolves, you believe like vampires, all that stuff is fake. No, we're gonna put those in the videos and you're gonna see. Those are not fake, those, those things are really here. It's just only what we can see with our own two eyes. Yeah. So bringing them into light and putting a music video and having the music make you move through it, make you feel good. Okay. Yeah. All right, that's knowledge, man. I appreciate you coming on, man. Yeah. I appreciate you letting me know that you do this. I'm let, trying, to, trying to get me on here. I appreciate it. Where, tell the folks where, where they can reach out at you, you know. Um, I, got, uh, I got Instagram. I got, t I got Twitter, or what they call it, X now. It's all Glockavalli, G-L-O-C-C-A-V-I-L-L, or L-I-I-I. Um, that's on every platform. So no matter what you want to reach me on or see what I got going on, you can go on there. Um, but, you know, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and say this. This, the young um, generation of music that's, that's done right now, mm -hmm. let's go ahead. I'm going to throw some names out there. Um, Ken Carson, Destroy Lonely, yeah. Lil Darius. Um, even the people that's coming from other places and coming to Atlanta to try to start um, the music stuff. Yeah. That's a new wave. So like, all the trap, the robbing, and all that other stuff, we about like we we on that. Like yeah. if if a do want to play, then we gonna be on that. But we really thinking about living life. Yeah. You know, too many people have passed away. Too many rappers. Too many um, rich <coughs> and successful black people have passed away um, in the past couple years. We need some new young folks to come in there and take take their spot and do it better than what they did. Or Rest in peace to all those people. Yeah. But we got to be smarter and we got to really create worth versus everybody and this team, us versus them. That's how I see it. Yeah. That's what it is. So for, hey, before we get out of here, I want to ask, you say you from New York, right? Yeah. And you 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 left New York at 19? Yeah, uh, no, 2019, so. Oh, you ain't got 20. I was just, I just turned 20, yeah. How was it living in, in, in New York? Man, uh, I love New York, but me, I need, I, I gotta have my space. I can't, I, I gotta have my own car. I gotta be able to see trees every now and then. You know, I can't deal with, I'm not scared of the rodents, but New York makes too much money for it to be that dirty all the time. And I feel like the government needs to take more control. And once they do that, more people will feel comfortable going up there. Yeah. So it's, it's like nasty up there? I say, I mean, if you're going to go take the train. Take the train if you want to. And you'll see. This one time. Let's go check it. No, I don't think I'd do it. Let's go check the train one train. Time. I hadn't even took the train here. Exactly. Yeah. But the one down here, you know, not a lot of people are going to use it. But let's see, 100,000 versus 1 million. So 1 million people is going to make more mess than 100,000. Yeah. And I feel like they need to focus on taking care of that stuff instead of trying to, you know, put like sanction everything and trying to be so serious with the with the laws and all that stuff. But you don't hear people. You don't really hear people talking about I'm going to New York for a vacation or like even when they, only money. Even when they, you know, like you'll hear a person say I'm going to Atlanta for the weekend. Yeah. Or you know. Vegas or some shit, but I don't hear people, when people go to New York, it's typically on business. That's it. It's not, it don't never be on no, you know what I'm saying, on no vacation type shit. I mean, it's really because like, you walk down the block, building, 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 you walk down the street, tree, 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 you might see a, a store right there, you might see something, that's how it is down here, versus up there, as you said, you walk, and you see building, 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 and then, also, Southern hospitality is a real thing. 
people gotta realize that's a real thing. It's not. It's not fake. Yeah. If um, you can make it in New York, oh yeah, you can make it anywhere. A hundred percent sure. And especially my my background of me growing up in parts of Jamaica too. None of this stuff down here, what they try to say about the crime, that's not getting to me at all. You say it is not getting to it's you? It's not getting yeah, to me. I'm I mean, not worried. I'm not, I can't be worried about nobody. I be the same way, man. I'm from Birmingham, bro. And them the niggas, country, they worse in the country than they are in the city, man. Bro, them niggas, them niggas, them niggas killing every goddamn body. Exactly. Man. So when they be talking about, it ain't shit, it ain't shit against the A, but they crying, you can stay away from crime here, in my opinion. You go you up there know. in New York, you walking on the you walking on the street. I got this on, somebody going But I got my too, so it's like yeah. you, do you wanna do that though? Yeah. No. You wanna just chill, you wanna go have fun. So in New York it's it's like they own like you could just be walking down with simple stuff yeah. on and they be they want it. You can't if you walk out the store, right? <laughs> say if I walk out the store and I just bought or say if I walk out the store and I had these two phones, mm-hmm. it's probably gonna be three groups of people probably staring at me. Say if I get on, get in my car, if I, if I get on the train, it's going to be worse because they're going to get on the train with me because they want those. You feel me? It's too many people. So you got the good people, the smart people, the rich people, the poor people, and the bad people. It's a lot of people. So, of course, versus down here, you probably got five people versus the 500 people that want to take whatever you got because they don't got it yet. So you got to be more on your P's and Q's up there. That's why I say it's faster up there than it is down here. Mm. The music is faster down here, right? That's the music. But when it comes to living and the timing that everybody's on, it's faster up there than it is down here. Yeah. Way faster. Well, I, like, like I say, I'm finna end this shit, bro, but I just be want to know how it is in other niggas city because here is, it's, to me, it's managed. Yeah, you can manage it, bro. In, in my opinion, I know not to go on Ford and Industrial with don't shit. You know but what I'm saying? you don't have to, but the thing about it is that, like, you're not on a train. You in your own personal yeah, transportation. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So I can imagine, I can imagine a nigga trapping you. Exactly. And, and plotting on you. The whole train ride from, from Bronx to Queens, that two hour train ride, good luck. And if you goofy, he gonna get you. <laughs> like if you own them same two phones, you sitting on the bus. Yeah. With the same two phones like this, and you just not paying attention, not not aware of your surroundings. You, you just sitting there with both of your phones, just like they said on Friday, la 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 la. la. <laughs> and they just come snatch both of them home, or wait till you get out the train and get your ass. And then hop right back on the train, and you can't catch them ever again. It's over with. That's crazy. Because when you walk off the train, and that's the last stop, you are gonna have to go all the way back to the first one. Because mm. it really, you gotta realize, like, the train is gonna go on a loop. So, even though it's like, it's just like the buses, the buses have their own, uh, what do you call it, route. Trains have their routes too. They just don't just keep going. Yeah. So, as soon as you get off of that, somebody was watching you for the last two hours, get right back on there. You can't catch that train again. You gotta wait for the next train. Yeah. Good luck. Yeah. But maybe we're gonna wrap this shit up. You said IG, Black and Volley, music coming out October 22nd. Um, it's five songs, two music videos. I'm gonna have some, I'm working with somebody right now to get a surprise feature. But um, after I drop, I'm not stopping. I'm gonna turn it up. And with the business and everything else, everything gonna be turned up. So y'all gonna see me more, for sure. Well, you know where to find us at Skillet Talk. If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you're in the building, baby. You can listen to it on Apple Podcasts, Pandora. We everywhere with it. Email if you want to come on for a feature or collab. Holla at me. We, hey, I'm finna run. I'm finna run this. I'm finna end it out with, you know, like a snippet on the, on the track. I got this new song, uh, Doses, is gonna come out. Um, and, the, and the EP called XXXXX. It's six X's. So, you know, just crossing people out, crossing different state cycles out in my life. So, just be looking for it. But the song called Doses, he's about to pre- preview it. And I appreciate it. I gonna talk to y'all later, man. Boom!
a peak, zip locks, then I go and serve it off. Never water down my walk, never sipping no rewrite. Got a purple bill, my clock, steady money up my car, G top. Bitch kinda right, give it some money top, do it myself, can't get caught, can't off. Bring on the peak, zip locks, then I go and serve it off. Never water down my walk, never sipping no rewrite. Got a purple bill, my clock, steady money up my car, G top. Bitch kinda right, give it some money top, do it myself, can't get caught, can't off.